Hi there global citizens. The stakes are getting higher each passing day with the global rebalancing of power and de-dollarization plan by the BRICS, and they seem to be greater moves at this following a recently made announcement by the bloc. Sit right back and do not move an inch as we bring you this and more from our geopolitical closet in the next couple of minutes. At a meeting Tuesday in Russia, BRICS announced that it is in the final stages of its de-dollarization mission. According to BRICS representatives at the meeting, their new payment system was confirmed, and it will become a competitor for the current global reserve US dollar. Economic ministers of leading BRICS member countries have announced that they are in the final stages of completing complete de-dollarization. The bloc's goal is for its multipolar international monetary system to mark the end of the US dollar as the sole global reserve currency. A new payment system has been rumored and discussed for a significant time, but now the BRICS alliance has officially confirmed its development and first target, the US dollar. The BRICS economic alliance has sought to challenge the global economic status quo for the last two years. The bloc has sought increased resistance from the Western-dominated financial order. Those efforts have come in the form of increased de-dollarization practices in the promotion of the bloc's own local currencies. Furthermore, the BRICS alliance initiated this two-day meeting with 20 countries in attendance to discuss expansion and economic cooperation. Foreign ministers of countries belonging to the bloc are currently in the Russian city of Nizhny Novgorod. Topics at hand included the upcoming expansion of the BRICS plus de-dollarization efforts and building further economic and trade relations with one another. Now, its work in developing its BRICS currency has also been discussed. BRICS aims to cut ties with the US dollar and use local currencies for all cross-border transactions among member nations. The move is attracting other developing countries to join BRICS in 2024. The idea of ditching the US dollar for local currencies and a new global reserve has become more popular. The alliance's gold-backed currency concept and CBDCs are considered worthy alternatives. Some say the dollar days are numbered, but others especially the US think this is just a talk as they aren't ready to bow to any other currency, not now, not ever. However, the BRICS think otherwise and here are some reasons why they feel the dollar days are numbered. Once considered one of the strongest currencies to ever exist, the US dollar now stands at a precarious threshold. The currency is now attracting stiff competition from the rising world order, standing in the middle of a possible financial revolution. With concepts like dual and multipolar currencies flourishing in space, the US dollar is now inching closer to its potential collapse. As US debt metrics continue to swell, the looming questions persist. How will the US economy handle the brewing pressure without injuring the USD's prestige and repute in the process? At this point, we wake up to the rise of the dual currency concept. What is it about and what does it mean for the world? The world is currently witnessing a novel currency shift. Countries are now opting for regional currencies to boost and accelerate their commercial proceedings. Nations have also started to decrease their reliance on the US dollar to bolster their currency narratives. However, as new concepts continue to gain prevalence in space, a new theory of dual currency is taking over the vertical, gnawing at the US dollar more profoundly. The dual currency narrative entails promoting the usage of two currencies to conduct micro and macro proceedings. Per a notable financial analyst, Chimith Palahapitiya, the dual currency narrative is getting increasingly popular among nations, which may further erode the USD's reputation in the long haul. There's an increasing body of countries that will become dual currency. They will look at their local currency and they will look at Bitcoin. And they will say both of these things are needed. The first is when they're transacting daily for goods and services. And the second is when you need to buy a permanent asset that needs to have residual value. They'll buy Bitcoin. Also, the had be the spike in gold and Bitcoin usage. With the introduction of Bitcoin exchange traded funds, ETFs, the world is now inching towards exploring BTC and gold as safe haven assets in the wake of the degrading US dollar. With swelling debt metrics in sight, the world seems to be in the process of shifting towards new currency alternatives, spiking the values of gold and Bitcoin in the process. As China continues to dump US bonds, the signs are clear that the US dollar is losing global traction as its alternatives gain strength in the space. The US economy is standing on the brink of a possible collapse. The inflating debt numbers have now started to inch towards breaching the $34 trillion price mark, adding paralyzing pressure on the US economy. At the same time, the government expense interest metrics are also spiking, adding fuel to the raging narrative. The qualms about US weaponizing the US dollar have also played a pivotal role in deteriorating the US economy, which has done a number on the US economic data metrics. 
nations are now actively exploring concepts that promote the multipolar narrative instead of relying on the U.S. dollar for their national growth and progression. The reduced demand may also compel the USD to fight for its supremacy, further jeopardizing its position as the leading global currency. Furthermore, BRICS have been gathering to discuss digital economy framework in crucial meeting. The BRICS alliance has gathered to discuss a digital economy framework in what is poised to be a crucial new meeting for the bloc. Indeed, the gathering has taken place following the collective's announcement of an impending independent payment system for member countries. Now, the alliance has converged in Geneva for a meeting to discuss vital elements of its burgeoning digital economy. The talks will center around necessary infrastructure and were described as the preparatory stage of the burgeoning economic overhaul, according to a press release. For much of the last year, the BRICS Economic Alliance has been developing its own economic alternatives. Since imposing sanctions in 2022, the bloc has sought to create an avenue for independence for global economic participants. This meant both the implementation of de-dollarization efforts and the establishment of local economic measures. That is now culminated in the impending arrival of a BRICS independent payment system. Subsequently, the BRICS group is now meeting to discuss its digital economy framework in what is poised to be a critical meeting for the sector's development. The gathering took place in Geneva, Switzerland, with the BRICS Competition Law and Policy Center leading the discussions regarding economic digitization and the necessary regulatory framework. Moreover, the event saw participation from a host of alliance nations. One of the major talking points for the gathering was the issue of antitrust regulation. Specifically, the discussions revolved around both economic activity and participating nations and collectives like BRICS. The discourse present at the gathering is a clear depiction of the growing cooperation between BRICS nations. Although the alliance has been present since 2001, they have ramped up collaboration. Moreover, this meeting is essential as they begin to formulate guidelines and standards that all nations will adhere to. Furthermore, this is yet another signal that a digitized BRICS economic system is nearing. Subsequently, all eyes will be on the impending 2024 annual summit. There are many expect important announcements with geopolitical implications, with many predicting the possible launch of a BRICS native currency. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed the video. Do stay tuned for more and related videos right now on our channel. Like, share and subscribe to our channel as a means of supporting us. Goodbye for now.